I know slightly a lot of people have been talking about ornithopters because of Dune. So I thought I'd dust this off and, and bring it back out. I think you've seen it before. It's from the movie Laputa, a Miyazaki film, aka Cast on the Sky. And what's neat about this piece is it's got uh, the wings missing, as you can see. Fortunately, they're kind of clear plastic, so it's hard to see see them. If I move them around, we get some reflection on them. Now, yeah, they, um, they're pretty neat. It's got all these switches on the front there. These switches there, because they all do different things. Like this one turns off. You can see the instrumentation lights. Uh, another one there. Uh, there I can see. It. Another one, um, you can turn off the headlights, there you go, and leave the wings flapping, and then of course the main light, the uh, main switch, so um, yeah it's pretty neat, let me get some reflection off of it, let me try taking an angle, looking more straight down in it, that helps a little bit. Little engines underneath there. That's yeah, pretty dynamic looking at it from this angle. Yeah, it was a pre made piece that I bought a few years ago. Somebody, I think somebody sent me a link to it on Facebook. And being a real fan of the movie, uh, I just said, yeah, there's no doubt. There's no thinking about it. So I get it. Which then brings us over to a model that I sketch built. Um, I'll do a turnaround at the end of the video. But yeah, I built it back in like 95, 1995, that's all it is. And um, it's about, you can see my hand here, it's about 20, 19, 20 inches long. Had to do a couple of touch ups on it before I put it on video. I mean, it really needed a good dusting, and the brass here is all dulled out, you know. Uh, so I went through the trouble of, you know, uh, cleaning it up a little first. It deserved it, you know. A little crow's nest up there with a little kite, if you remember, for those who've seen the film. No lights, no mechanical stuff, no bells and whistles, uh, just a straight, straight movie, or straight model. Duh. So, um, yeah, when people first, when I had this displayed in California at a convention, some Hispanic people walked by and started laughing because of the name. Because at the time I didn't know what lapida meant in in Hispanic, you know, and which I found out later, as a lot of you know um, or don't know, means um, prostitute. <laughs> so la puta, you know, the prostitute. So yeah, that's uh, the tiger moth. Well, I should probably help to tell you what the name of it is. That's a tiger moth, and. Uh, these little guys here, I don't remember what they're called actually. They're called, they're called flapters, that's what they were called, that's right. They're called flapters. And the pirates would ride in these things. Four of them would fit down in the belly here of this model. Underneath this door here, they could fit four of them down in there. Now I'll, I'll have some better pictures showing the interior a little bit. I haven't taken pictures in there in a long time. Something like that, but uh, yeah. So yeah, it's not been a while. A little bit of anime models, which I do have. This is it. So um, that's those two. The one I made from scratch. No 3D prints. Believe it or not, there is a world before 3D printers where things were actually built by hand, and uh, this is one of them. So uh, I guess that's all. Hope you enjoyed it.